All right, there you go. So guys, um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about this particular one. And so I decided to watch uh, Arrow while I'm editing uh, my other sort of content and such. So this is, uh, let me give you my idea of what, well, it was good, it was good. It was good, how do I pause this? Okay, DC. Uh, I liked it, I thought it was cool. Here, let's, let me slide over here for the background. And now nah, you can't see it. All right, now nah, that sucks. All right, so I liked it, I thought it was cool. Uh, I, I, it was uh, entertaining, it was entertaining. It has potential. Uh, hopefully, if they stay this course, it could get the older fans back. There's little instances that I'm not a big fan of, but, uh, you know, it, maybe... I, I, I think for me, it's just that I haven't watched a few seasons now, and I just pop in every once in a while. But I like what they were doing in this episode. It has potential. It wasn't weighted down by will they, won't they type shit with Olicity. It looks like Olicity is completely done for the most part. The the horrible part, the part that things we like it was all focused around the relationship. There was a little bit of uh talk about it at the end with Diggle, but the overall it looks like they're kind of they kind of are going back to just the Oracle Batman type relationship, I guess. Uh, or what do they call her? The um what do they call her? Overwatch, right? <laughs> Overwatch. They call her Overwatch and the vigilante type feeling. The thing about Oliver killing again, that's an interesting thought. It's an interesting situation. Like, I don't know everything that uh, Oliver has been going through for him. Like, I guess the whole idea was uh, maybe DC Sun will have to explain it more to me, but I guess it had a lot to do with Damon Dark losing Laurel. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not, the, the show definitely has potential. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any reactions to it anytime soon because, like, it's gonna take more than one episode, more, more than one episode to kind of get me back on the more hype train, but I can definitely watch it, I think, in my spare time, like this, while I'm editing or something, and watch it in bits and pieces, and, you know, take it from there, okay? So, I liked what I saw here from this particular season premiere. Looking forward to the next episode. As long as it... Like, it, what I will say, the one thing that stood out is it looks like some of the badassery is coming back. And the fight scenes looked really cool. A lot of the stunts that they were pulling looked really cool to see. That black guy, I want to say he's the guy from... The Walking Dead. What was this? Maybe it is him, actually. Hold on, let me take a look at this guy, right? Oh, shit. Is it Tyre? No. No, maybe I got my black men with beards all mixed up. I don't know. But, um, I thought overall it was alright, though. I mean, uh, the the episode was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys feel about this particular episode if you liked it it has potential it definitely has potential if they keep on going along this track and then i i believe from what somebody told me that was prometheus the at the end the masked archer so ooh, it's cool I, I thought it was good and the uh, the other thing i noticed at least for this season or for this episode is that there isn't a Shakespearean style, what I mean, it's like it doesn't look like a stage play. People aren't just walking off set, basically. And that was a big problem a few seasons back. So, I'm fine with it. There was a problem with my computer. God damn it. Let me get on to that, okay? Let me know what you guys think about the episode below. I'm out.